So here at Dirty Dozen, hardest train ride in Australia. Check it out. This is how we train Adelaide. But just once a year, because it's so fucking hard. Most people won't finish today, it's just so hard. Pace won't be hard, the terrain is fucking as hard as it gets. Looking at Kensington Road, this is a steep climb. This is about a five minute KOM climb. Fucking steep. I've got the KOM this one. It's a wall. Check out people coming down. Yeah. Fatalities on this climb. Kensington Road fatalities already. So we're on Woodlands Way. Coach House. Hardest climb in suburban Australia of the two kilometre variety. This is brutal, and it's in the middle of the Dirty Dozen this year. Last year they did it at the end, this year it's in the middle. It's cool bastards. Well, Dirty Dozen Koala. So just going up the Cowland bike path, hardest bike path in Australia, by far. Whew. I think the council designed it for Chris fucking Froome. We've got one more climb left. She oak. She oak. Whew. I saved the best to last. No, I like it. But the, um. Yeah, they're just doing funny incidents. Like, one What's... guy would go to the other guy. Yeah. Oh, nice hair. And he's put like a top knot, like a painting tail in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the guy would like look around funny and then be real nervous. He would just like sort of take it out, like discreetly. What's, then... What's the channel name called? Mr. Viagrosaurus. Check it out. So it's a dirty dozen done and dusted. Great ride, it's so good. Um, beautiful day for it, perfect weather. Just good, just great climb and good camaraderie, chill bunch of people. Not really a race, I think there's a few little races here and there, but it's pretty casual. It's, it's just great, man. Go out and challenge yourself. And a lot of people don't finish, but they come back next year and do another extra climb, you know? So if you did six climbs this year, or you did four climbs this year, come back and do five climbs next year. It's always something to aim for. Um, good fun. What did I eat? Just had some dates, sugar water, a couple of uh, torque gels. And yeah, they like a vegan gel, just fructose and multidextrin. And I didn't run out of sugar. Could have drunk a little bit more water, didn't really piss much on this ride. I uh, could probably could have done another couple of bottles. But uh, I'll make up for that tonight. Go home now, meet Freely, and we'll go out and get a little carb feast, I reckon. As always, as you do. So Dirty Dozen, if you're in Adelaide in September, pencil it in, it's every year now. It's getting bigger every year. It's harder every year, but it's, everyone's welcome. If you've got a bike, mountain bike, road bike, whatever, we're gonna do a hard, Australia's hardest training ride, come to the Dirty Dozen. See you soon. About 500 calories of dates and that much water. So good, good liquid mix. 
Already had my litre of water before, when I got back and I hydrated it up, piss and clear again. Now I put some sugars in. Simple sugar is what you want to recover, and then I'll have some uh, rice in that for dinner. But definitely, blended dates with water, such a good recovery. But what about protein? I need protein. If you want to get 100 kilos, add in protein. If you want to be lean like Chris Froome, or really fucking high cardio, marathon style, low protein's the go. Low protein's the go. Carbs for the fucking win. Keeps you lean. Keeps you lean.